What if Sage of the Six Paths was the final villain? He would have worked a lot better thematically than Kaguya, but Hagoromo would run into a similar problem as his mother. How do you defeat someone that powerful while providing a neat, satisfying end to Naruto? Now, maybe you could have Naruto handle conflict with Hagoromo differently, presenting him not as evil, but a necessary force in the verse, who is there to ensure the tailed beasts don't rally around someone who can destroy the world. By getting one step closer to that goal, Naruto and Hagoromo are locked in conflict. Hagoromo thus has to test this new boy who seeks the power of the Sage of Six Paths, something others have tried to gain and only ended up with an inferior version. Boy, I have the power to stop Madara and I can give it to you if you pass my test and take over as the next Sage of Six Paths as I once did. Obviously, Naruto doesn't want to be stuck being someone who is far away from those he cares about. But Hagoromo instructs the boy that if he leaves empty-handed, he will not be able to stop Madara. Naruto, out of curiosity, asks for the test. Hagoromo makes it clear. In order to be the sage of six paths, I had to let go of the thing that was most important to me. For me, that was my brother, Hamura. Your brother is here and he too has the power to be the sage of six paths. Only one of you can gain that power. Sasuke appears in front of Naruto, ready with killer intent. Their fight begins. Naruto takes the lead but cannot find it in himself to kill Sasuke. Sasuke, on the other hand, kills Naruto. The world has to be saved from Madara. Naruto is too weak to make choices that matter. That was his true problem, according to Sasuke. Having killed Naruto, Sasuke becomes the next sage of six paths. I commend you on your willingness to look beyond your bond to see what truly matters. Uchiha Sasuke, you are worthy of the sage of six paths. Having received the new power, Sasuke returns to the land of the living and pummels Madara. Madara challenges Sasuke, but this time around, he gets to see what the power of Sage of Six Paths truly looks like. Sasuke wrecks Madara and undoes the infinite Tsukuyomi, saving everyone. Everyone slowly realizes that Sasuke has saved them. Sasuke rightfully chooses not to reveal he had to kill Naruto, instead stating that he tried his best to save him. Sasuke is the hero that ended the war and for the first time in his life, gets to witness what Naruto experienced, being the pillar that everyone leans on. This makes him both excited, yet sorrowful at the same time. He knows that deep down, Naruto is the one who should be receiving all this adoration. Sasuke shrugs away the feeling of loneliness that he now feels. He tells everyone that as the new sage, he will not hesitate to bring justice to the shinobi if they choose the path of war. He will not hold back his wrath if it comes down to it. He then returns to the limbo world of the Sage of Six Paths. It is a world where he is alone. He asks the spirit of Hagoromo if returning Naruto back is something he can do. Hagoromo nods in understanding. Your brother, as you know him, is gone. He cannot be brought back. However, at the exchange of two things, another version of him can exist. The first is the erasure of everyone's memories of you, including Naruto. The second is that the Sage of Six Paths cannot interfere with human affairs for a thousand years. You will not be able to keep your promise of justice. Is that a sacrifice you are willing to make, Uchiha Sasuke? Does Naruto mean that much to you? Sasuke realizes why Hagoromo was unable to interfere with Shinobi. Sasuke thinks it over and comes to the conclusion that the world would be better if Naruto was still present. Without the Sage of Six Paths, the Shinobi will fight again. New conflict will arise. Do you really trust Naruto to be the one to stand in between? Even if he does, he will die. Sasuke remembers all he has gone through with Naruto and concludes that Naruto is the true spark to ending conflicts organically. He entrusts him with the future of Shinobi. With this, Sasuke is locked in for a thousand years, never to leave his void. Even if he will probably never see Naruto again, he believes that the two will always be linked.